Hey, I'm the Manji Dragonfly. Welcome back to The Messenger. On the last episode, we faced the mighty might of Ruxton the Great. So, uh, Eagle Eye viewers might notice that my time- Oh my god. Time shark count looks a little different than how I last left it. This is the second attempt at recording this particular episode. On the first attempt, I did not like the gameplay or the commentary. Which would have been bad enough, but then the uh, recording glitched out as well. It's uh, kind of been a constant problem, really. It's been popping up in like icy as well. So uh, I kind of decided to just kind of redo it for Souls Chat. Bamboo Cree! That must be a cypher sorice after you're checking the catacombs. There is. Do you make the best of it? This place is as close to a day off as you'll get on this adventure. I'll try, I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. Yeah, I guess it says more about your mindset than about the world. Where are these crystals I'm collecting? Say so you're a touchy unidentified magic object first and ask questions later kind of guy. They're time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly the way we've been doing it so far. Like when you want, give me the required amount of shards so I can do my thing. I meant the spell itself. It's complicated. But I'm curious. And I'm busy. Are you too busy for uh, story time, though? That was about the Oh, you are too busy for story time. You're in Bamboo Creek. This is as sane as it gets in this here cursed world. So? So I suggest you take the opportunity to play outside. If I hate playing outside. And there's a... There's a horrible pandemic going on! <laughs> uh, so weird to think about. Back when I recorded this previously, there was not a pandemic. I need to hide in the cat. Thanks. Thanks for thanks for the help, buddy. Hmm, gonna date that video by bringing up that, huh? So yeah, uh, Bamboo Creek. Totally a breather level. That's why... Oh my god. Ugh. So yeah, uh, at the time of the recording, there is uh, a bit of a panic going on over a particular virus. Which is, it's weird to think about because that was not a thing like back when I like, back when I recorded the uh, first episode, or the previous attempt at episode two. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't like the commentary, didn't like my gameplay, I played very sloppy, like I died in Bamboo Creek. There's plenty of time for that to still happen. But at this point, I'm locked in. Because I, cause I keep saying, like, I wanted to, uh, keep, like, my messy stuff anyway, because I wanted to train up for, uh, blind LPs, and then I keep not doing that, I keep, like, re-recording stuff. <laughs> And so I, I just, I feel bad about it because I keep saying like, oh, I'm gonna keep like even the crappy ep oh crap, this guy. Oh my god. That guy's a bit annoying. It's all, it's also weird because like when you beat him, he doesn't actually like do much of a. Uh, death animation, he just does the same teleporting animation, but you're just supposed to trust that you won that time. Uh, it's weird, I don't know. I'm getting a little off topic again. And there's not really much else to say, like... I don't know what's been going on with the capture card recently. It's, uh... It's really weird, it's like not even two months old and it's just been glitching out a lot lately. It's happened a bunch with Icy and it started happening with the Messenger as well, so... When it happened, I thought it was like... Which was honestly the reason why I hated the commentary, because I, I wound up just whining about that the whole time during the uh, episode. I had a uh, very unfortunate 
it a very unfortunate uh, accident in a particular PC game I played called Labami Corporation. I'm not gonna sit here and go into uh, specifics since since like whining about it the whole time was uh, one of the reasons I didn't like the uh, whining about it the whole time was like one of the reasons why I didn't like the commentary. Yeah, Bamboo Creek, uh, it's really not that difficult, I say, as I keep taking damage and making terrible mistakes. Terrible amateurish mistakes. No, oh, man, you should have seen, like, the first recording, which I'm not going to upload, so you're not going to see it, so no, you're not going to. This is not a hint of anything. Like, oh, you die. Get out of here. Yeah, like, in the previous recording, I died on Bamboo Creek, which is terrible. Stop it. Stop it. Stop hanging me. Yeah, I died on Bamboo Creek, which is, uh, bad. I, like, it was, like, the previous screen I was in. I, like, tried to, like, jump. Like, I tried to use, like, fireballs to kind of, like, just jump around, but I completely forgot that, uh, that wall was, wall, oh my god, I can't believe I just ran into that guy. But, like, I just kind of blanked that the wall I ran into was, a uh, wall. I thought it was just weirdly colored background. I was, uh, not awake. I kept, like, trying to excuse myself, or make excuses, rather, I should say. By saying that I was playing sloppy because I was still angry. Because of that mishap. Mm. Oh my god. These flying things are what passes for a Medusa head in this game, I guess. I don't know, it's, I don't know, it just doesn't seem as, uh... It's because they're so big. Like, the Medusa heads are really hard to hit because they're kind of small, but these things are, like, huge. No, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. Yeah, Bamboo Creek, there's not really a whole lot super special about it. There's a lot of spikes, though. The a lot of spikes for a place that's supposedly uh, the closest thing you'll get to a vacation. Once again, spikes may not be insta-kill, but they do hurt a lot, even for this point in the game. God, that uh, health drop is really helping a lot, which is weird because, like... I remember, one of the things I remember hearing that, like, that upgrade wasn't actually that great, that it was, like, a little too rare to be, like, worth a, worth a uh, early purchase. But I don't know, at the same time, like, having even that little bit helps. Uh, oh, this uh, looks like a boss corridor. Let's see what, uh... See what everybody has to say about the boss that's coming up. So I guess the boss is up next. A boss in Bamboo Creek? That's a good one. Well, with the layout, you know, perfectly centered gate, symmetrical lanterns, no scrolling, I just thought... Look, you're perfectly free to hallucinate patterns and try to make sense of them, but I believe I told you this place is like your day off. So? Well, would you fight a boss on your day off? Exactly! <laughs> It, there's a pandemic. I need to get in your closet. I already said the line. I already said that. I already made that joke, but I figured it was worth another try. If this place is like my day off, then what is this? Oh. The crystal room. I don't know. I was hoping for 
I guess I, I guess if it was a power seal room, there'd be a power oh crap symbol, power seal symbol. Speaking of which, I actually did miss a uh, power seal room in the the first stage actually on hills. Oh wow, that it actually totally was no boss. Weird, because this seems like the perfect place to pull a boss, huh? Oh no, this is the perfect place to pull a boss. Sorry. Oh well, I'm Howling Grotto. Bamboo creeks like your day off, so now Howling Grotto is where they're gonna start taking off the kids' gloves. I totally forgot what I was saying before. I did not make that jump. Oh wait, right. There was a power seal room I missed in the uh, um, hills. I was considering doing like an extra bit to, to show it off, but I decided that was uh, not really legit or fair. I'll cover it when we get to it later. I fell in the pit. That you did. That gap was way too wide. There's no way I can make the jump. This reminds me of a story. A long time ago, warriors of the Squirrel Clan invented away the source of the skies, touching on freedom humans to sell them dream of. Some mistake them for gods. Incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. Uh, okay. Press an old B while they're burning glide. Play over, guys. Just fly upwards. See anything? Thanks for the wingsuit. You bet! Don't forget to try it by, pre by pressing and holding B while airborne. Why was it free and not the other upgrades? Because it was mandatory to your progression. You can't see the world if you're stuck in the pit. Will there be any more freebies in the future? There's only one way to find out now, isn't there? What do you mean? I mean, you should carry on with your quest while letting your heart know for sure that this here cursed world's inhabitants have a lot of supplies, surprises left in store for you. Not supplies. There are no supplies for you waiting in the world. Totally nothing else waiting in the world. Hidden. Welcome to the Howling Grotto! Do people live here? Some cave dwelling creatures used to a long time ago. They built structures from the stream of emerald running through the rock and believed the wind was the breath of a god. Anything I should know? Not really, other than it's gliding time! Well, that wingsuit I gave you? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have enough contextual data. I meant to say something that would make sense regardless of whether you had already used the wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. You're being awkward now. What's wrong with you? I gave you something that virtually lets you fly, and you'd rather stay here and chat? I like chatting. I like hearing your stories. I, I want to hear another one. Of course, here's one for you. There once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope of getting his life together and be a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. To rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him sad when he is happy and happy when he is sad. It worked like a literal charm, and the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle's wizard probably grabbed the ring and finally tried to understand the source of its power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magic at all. But how could a non-magic ring make you sad when you're happy and happy when you're sad? I guess? Not really. It had a small inscription that read, This too shall pass. Whoa. That's deep. It's more than deep. I gave you the cure- I just gave you the cure for your anxiety through a fairy tale! Thanks, shopkeeper! Hey now, don't push it! I feel like it's a little more complex than that, but who am I to judge? Hmm. Yeah, piercing shuriken might be useful. Is there any more goodies in your cap? Please don't touch the cap. I'm so sad right now, but this too shall pass, I guess. It'll never pass. So yeah, time to get used to the wingsuit. It's a little weird to get used to since, like, it does kind of, uh... Oh! Since now you have to, like, think about the wingsuit in addition to, uh, cloud stepping. But yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no way to access the wingsuit without, uh, losing your cloud step. So 
but yeah, that, uh, that's definitely a thing you have to get used to. Oh, right, you don't have that yet. No, as far as I can tell, there is, like, no way to, uh, use the wingsuit without using the cloud step. You have to, uh, you have to use the cloud step before you can, uh, glide. Go back to Shin Megami Tense, hey, Earth. Earth Grid? I, I forget what the Earth Golem guys from, uh, SMT are called, actually. Oh boy, it's been a while since I made, since I played an SMT game, actually. Also, I don't know why that's the first thing I think of when I see Earth Golems. So I don't really play your, like, so much for that plan. If I had a uh, certain upgrade, that would have been a lot easier and less awkward to deal with. Is that, I'm gonna see if that's a pet, I'm not gonna try that. I don't think I saw a uh, power seal symbol. Yeah, like, some rooms do have a power seal symbol to, like, designate that, yes, this is a power seal room, but it's weird. I'm pretty sure not all of them do. So you do have to kind of keep an eye out for, uh, you do still have to keep an eye out for, like, hidden, potential hidden secrets. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember every, like, room with a power seal having the symbol on it, but I could be wrong on that. It's been a few months since I, like, played this game extensively. And, uh, it's been a little while since I played the messenger for the LP. Like I said, uh, this whole Corona thing was not a thing back when I last played this. Back when I tried to record the, the second episode the first time. Also, I guess I'm just gonna outright say the name and uh, not be cryptic about it for no reason. Darn, I like being cryptic for no reason. Oh, I just ran my head into uh, the stalactite. Oh. That's Slagtite. Yeah, I think Slagmite's the one that uh, goes up from the ground. Slagtite's the one that falls from the ceiling. And the only reason I... I think I'm right on that? The only reason I remember that is because of Yu Yu Hakusho, the video game. Uh... Also, you want this. Because this is what I keep thinking I have. It lets you attack from the wingsuit. More importantly, it gives you vertical range. Hey. <laughs> Flip! Oh god, I was too busy goofing off, so I didn't even have... Ooh. Living on the edge! You thought this wasn't going to be an exciting episode, but I'm just going to... Bree, I'm just going to... Uh... Oh my god! I don't remember doing that. Okay, let's not jump into the pit. So yeah, that gives you some uh, much-needed vertical coverage. That might be important for reasons.
else can I talk about? What else can I talk about? Because I don't want it to go silent. Crap, I should Oh my god, oh my god, Manji, please. Please show that you know how to play the game that you have already beaten once. I feel like I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing things. Can you climb with that wall. Ow. There we go. Much better. And it's just for crystal. Whatever. I guess crystal rooms are still good. I could use the uh, cache. Could use the cache to uh, buy some upgrades. So honestly, this would actually be a good thing to, uh, get past those, like, stones that were, like, oh my god, in the ground before. I can't believe I hurt myself on a downed wizard. That is a little sad, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess, speaking of, uh, the, um, uh... oh wait, I think it's boss time now. But speaking of, like, the, uh, Power Seal Room, the one that I missed was, like, in Om Hills. It's actually a little difficult to get to, but you can get to it if you, like, strike the ninja a, uh, and projectile. I hope you're up for a challenge. Why? Got something, got something big is up next. What? Well, let's just say you're about to fight someone who understands that the best defense is a good defense. Ooh. I wish I could tell you. Anyway, your three questions are up. Carry on. This one is there a three question rule. Hey, that's four now. Yeah, there was like. It's like. It's a little hard to get to. I think you're not actually supposed to get to it until like a little later in the game. Which, uh, will be explained later on, trust me. But you can't get to it, and it's actually one of the harder power seal rooms you can access early on. It, uh, requires some tight maneuvering. Speaking of tight maneuvering, this jerk... I say tight, but... Really, it's more so punishing. Because of this! Oh my god, I can't believe after all that I just... hit myself on, like, the prone... on, like... Oh my god. On the arm that was already stopped. Ugh. Fantastic. So this guy's on. This is honestly the boss where the game starts to kind of like take off the kitty gloves a bit more. Since you kind of need to react. You kind of need to like react, uh. A little fast to uh, the boss's attacks. And even when you get up here to hit it, if you don't notice the uh, spikes that are about to come up, that uh, things get awkward. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh... I don't want to lose. I really don't want to lose this fight again. I did lose this fight before. Oh god, that's right. This portion. You know what, I'm gonna stay, stay away from you. Stay away from you. I think that's why they give you all the uh, shuriken things so you can stay away. Don't like taking the coward's way out like that, but... Like, thanks for destroying my golem? Well, you attack first. What are you talking about? I've been digging through these caverns for centuries, and you just randomly engaged. No way. Way. No way! You know what, fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. I guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. You were trying to hit me! I understand, it's all good. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your golem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean, I'm sorry. It's alright, I'll have to take. So, how do I get out of here? 
Oh, I'll just win for you. Good luck on your quest. Well, let's, uh... You can leave using the wind tunnel. Again, I don't mind a misunderstanding. Well, that was a thing. Let's, uh... Let's never discuss that again. Bye. This is definitely the one that, uh, got messy for me the first time. On the one hand, I feel bad for the guy. On the other hand, he definitely did not make an attempt to, uh, you know, clear up the misunderstanding of any sort. He just kind of kept smashing. He was, he's, like, a lot more dangerous than a guy who was actually trying to, uh, kill me and take my scrolls, so, uh... I feel like there's a problem there. Ah, uh, these mushroom guys. Alright, so... The one, the gray ones will throw their cap at you, as you notice. However... Sometimes, when... However, you destroy the cap, the little mushroom guys will start running around. That's when they become their most dangerous, honestly, because they're actually... Surprise! They're very quick, and... There's at least one area where, uh that can get really awkward, because the area where they throw it actually gets destroyed on the wall. And then they basically just block, like, the only opening. Is there... Ooh. What? Huh. Weird. Anyway, let's move on. Anyway, the uh, other mushrooms, the brown ones, they're a new, they're a big nuisance since like they shoot out their uh, quills, and it's a, it's a lot of quills. You're honestly better off like, uh, you're honestly better off like trying to avoid it. Uh, of course, as soon as I say that, you're honestly better off like trying to give them a bit more room to avoid it. I see that uh, skeleton birds pass as our Ninja Gaiden birds. Once again, though, they're kind of gigantic, so they're not really as hard. Oh. Yeah, you are better off trying to avoid them than uh, trying to hit them with the strike of the ninja. Trying to get fancy. It helps that like those birds are really not that fast. Cause the other problem with the Ninja Gaiden birds are Oh my god, I can't believe I ran into that. The other problem with the Ninja Gaiden birds is that they are really fast and honestly a little unpredictable because they kinda don't They're trying to predict when they stop is a little weird. They are very uh you know unpredictable. I don't think I want to stop there. I don't remember if, like, I don't think... I want to say Quicksand does kill you if you, like, sink in all the way, but I honestly don't remember off the top of my head. I want to say that, like, if there isn't any sort of ground below, they do, but... Oh my god, that hit me. Don't stand under those, uh, doors, by the way, because those will crush you and kill you if you stand under them like it's Sonic. I hated that in Sonic so much. I guess if you can, like, run for cover, that's a good way to deal with the brown mushrooms. Mm, give me, yeah. Oh, good, give me a look. So I said that after. So I said that after I, uh, already demonstrated that little tidbit. Totally did not forget it. Don't worry, I totally know what I'm doing here. J j just trust me. Just trust me. Don't worry about the fact that I have mentioned dying in Bamboo Creek before. I still can't believe you defeated the Emerald Golem. Did you get a chance to understand its motive? That thing wasn't evil, it was just digging away. What? You mean all these messengers that were killed? All a misunderstanding. Wait, how many other messengers got- How many messengers got killed on that thing? Wow. 
Welcome to Quillshoe Marsh, said no one ever. Yeah, this place is eerie. Tell me about it. I once had to look through the mud for an artifact. Give up pretty quickly. What happens to this area? Legend says it used to be ruled by a monstrosity called the Primal Fear, until a brave monk defeated. Both were very many indeed. With its final breath, the Primal Fear cursed the monk forever. First, Legend also says that the monk still roams the marsh to this day, turning any trespassers into fungi. Ah, oh, great. No one knows whether any of that is true, but yeah, I'd pick up the pace if I were you. But first of all, story time. Of course, here's one for you. There once was a messenger who kept asking for stories. Ooh! Just like me. Even though he was supposed to move on with this very important course, he just couldn't get enough. Just like me! The shopkeeper, living in a void outside of time, was connected to all errors, and so, at first, was... Blah, blah. Okay, good reading skills. Living in a void outside of time was connected to all errors, and so, at first, was happy to share the myths and legends encountered over decades of traveling. Alas, the messenger never seemed to appreciate the morals of takeaways, so the shopkeeper decided to be done with the stories thing. The end. No way! I liked your stories! Come on! Maybe later, we'll see. You better not screw this out story time! I'll never forgive you for that! Also, I need the extra health. I, I really need it. I actually do really need it. Also, I need whatever's in your cabinet. Thanks, buddy. I just heard something. I could have swore I just heard something. That's really weird. I have a strong feeling that, uh... I don't know, I have a weird feeling about this recording now. Oh boy, I have a feeling that uh, this isn't gonna come out clean. Just, uh, just gonna take the safe route! Uh. Oh, thank god. That's a small reprieve! Please, no. Please, no. I actually really want to get through Quill Shroom Marsh without dying for reasons. <gasps> Crap. I really wanted to get through Quill Shroom Marsh without dying for a particular reason. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? My name's Quarble. Quarble? At your service. I'm the one you never would have met had you any skills. Thanks. The gist of it is I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. Whenever you are about to die, I'll appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Goody! The best part of death! Also, I'm keeping track of your time, my little notepad. So I'll stick around to steal your loot until either we're even or I am bored. I mean, I could let you die if you prefer. Seems we have a deal. But I will see eye to eye. Carry on, then. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I really wanted to get through Wolf and Marsh without dying. Now we got. Now I've got Quarble. Great. That unlocked a new uh, upgrade. Double do. Dude, this Quarble's fine for saving your life by 50%. AKA, it makes him go away faster. Great. So yeah, Quarble, he kind of already explained it all. God, I can't believe I got through all that without taking a bit of damage. Ugh. He kind of already explained it all. He's going to stick around until either he takes a certain amount of loot. Oh my god! Either he takes a certain amount of loot or a certain amount of time passes. But honestly, it, you're probably thinking like, oh, I'll just weigh him out. Oh my god. God, I can't believe it was that simple. 
That's why I keep for trying to take the safe route. Ah. Trust me, you'll know what I mean when I say there was a particular reason I wanted to get through Field Stream March without dying. I'm so upset. What the? Also, yeah, there's uh, the brown mushrooms getting faster when you kill their head. Peace. You get out! Get out! God! One of these has got to have help. Ooh, thank God. Oh, thank God indeed. Oh, by the way, this is the, uh, jerk... This is the jerk mushroom I was talking about. Says he can't destroy these... Get out, get out. <laughs> that was part of the reason I didn't like the gameplay, because I died, before, and I wanted to get, uh And I already promised myself, I already promised myself, no more retakes. I keep promising myself that I'm gonna let myself play a little, mm, play a little, like, not perfect. So that I can practice up for, like, blind LPs and stuff like that, but god, then I keep doing that. Keep re-recording, retrying stuff. I, I, wow, I'm, I'm sloppy now. Screw that. Screw that, no, I'm playing safe. Even though that's what got me killed last time. Fallen? How we call messengers whose quest key were tragic and their power corrupted by demon magic? Why are you so serious all of a sudden? Because it doesn't get more serious than a rogue messenger about to unleash on you. And with these stories about a monk? There really is that one monk. What are you talking about? But you mean your match? Good luck! Hmm. Ominous. Bah! How tough can they be? I'm sure whatever it is can be defeated by whatever's in your cabinet. I guess you don't want me to win, then. Thanks. Uh, okay, let's do this. That knocked the wind out of my sails, honestly. Well, well, well. It seems we have an intruder. You need to get out of here. This place is filled with monsters. Oh, did my quill shroom scare you? So it's true? <laughs> don't like my army? It's a shame, really, since you're about to join it. Scroll. Couldn't be. No, impossible. Kneel before your queen and receive the curse of quills. That's not a good girly voice. So, this lady. She'll try to throw spores on you, which will turn you into quills. Boil then, she'll drop a big she'll drop one of those guys on you. If the last guy didn't show you that they are going to start taking off the key gloves, this girl certainly will. Hit the, hit the guy. Cloud jump up to her. And that's how you get a good, uh... That's how you really lay on the damage. Ooh. Try to avoid her otherwise because she does have a whip that does a good amount of damage. No. No, no, no. Stay away from me. Ah. Like I said. Get out. Now wait a second. Who do you think you are? I'm Quillable. Quillable? This name, this name makes no sense. Why have I never seen you before? 
I was exiled a long time ago, and I got cast along my messenger. That voice, are you out of here? You bet! See ya, sucker! <sighs> that cutscene is different if you don't die before that point. Because you won't have actually have met Quarble at that point, so that scene wouldn't. So they changed the scene accordingly. I'm still so upset about that. I'm gonna go take some time to lick my wounds and, more importantly, heal my bruised ego. Next time on The Messenger, we're gonna get through the searing crags. See you then.